You know how they say good girls love bad boys? Well, this is a prime example of that. The guy in this case is bad. I mean, real bad. They also say not to judge a person based on their past, but to me, your past is an indicator of your future and your present. It all depends on the person and if they are willing to grow from their past or dwell in it. To find that out, you have to get to know that person and have some sense of discernment. But discernment comes with age and experience. Unfortunately, the young woman in this case lacked the ability to judge her boyfriend's character, or he was a master manipulator so she was fooled into believing he was a good guy, or maybe she just had a desire to date a bad boy and overlooked all the red flags. Either way, her story should not have ended this way. 27-year-old Miche Melendez and her 7-year-old daughter, Layla Stewart, were reported missing on March 18, 2023, when her mom and other family members and friends were unable to reach them for nearly a week. The police went to Miche's apartment to do a welfare check, but they weren't there. There likely did not appear to be any signs of struggle or anything unusual, except for the family dog that was left home alone for some time. The very next day, Miche's mom found her daughter's abandoned car about 10 minutes from her home. At this point, I'm sure her worry turned into fear. On the same day, police obtained a search warrant for her boyfriend, 28-year-old Kirkland Warren's car and home. He was then arrested. But he was arrested not for the disappearance of the mother and daughter, but for other charges he was currently out on bail for. In February 2018, he was charged in Arkansas with first-degree murder and abuse of a corpse. According to Kirkland, he shot a man in the head and threw him in a ditch because as they were riding around in his car, the man kept demanding money even after he said he didn't have any. He feared for his life, so he shot him. This all occurred the previous year in November 2017. A month later, he was arrested but bonded out the next day. The family of the deceased man are still awaiting justice. Kirkland has been out on bond living his life for over five years. His trial for that case is not set to start until the end of this year. In addition to the charges I mentioned previously, Kirkland was again arrested on suspicion of second degree domestic violence assault, possession of a stolen firearm, and other charges on March 2nd of this year. These charges stem from an incident at Miche's apartment. Apparently, last year on December 13th, she and Kirkland had an argument. He stormed out, but later returned and started shooting through her balcony as she looked outside. Almost two weeks later, she called 911 on Kirkland for again assaulting her and also reported the previous incident. A couple months later, Miche went to the police station to recant her story. She said that she and her friend that was the witness to the assault made the story up because they had substance abuse and mental health issues. She said she wanted to make sure that Kirkland wouldn't be arrested. The police obviously did not believe her because they arrested him anyway. A day after his arrest, he went to court and was granted a $100,000 bail and a no contact order with Miche. But just a few short hours later, he violated the no contact order by calling Miche while in jail. He was reportedly heard on those calls telling Miche it's her fault, that he's in jail and she needs to make the charges go away. Later that day, he posted bail. Since the no contact order was violated, he was cited and had to reappear in court a few days later. Authorities adjust, or suggested $10,000 bail and a court order to wear a GPS monitor in which the judge granted. The courts are allowed to assign GPS ankle monitors to people accused of domestic violence. It's connected to an app that the victim downloads to their phone. It's programmed to show where or if the suspect comes within a certain distance of the victim. The victim is then immediately notified so that they can get to a safe place. If the suspect continues to get closer, the police are dispatched to intercept. But before Kirkland can be fitted with the monitor, the case was dismissed so that they could add it to the Superior Court case. He was then released on March 8th with no way to monitor his whereabouts. 
On March 11th, a friend said that Mache, her daughter Layla, and Kirkland came over to her house that night. She said Mache and Kirkland left while Layla remained at her house. A while later, Kirkland returned to pick up Layla. When she went outside to the car, she noticed Mache was passed out and undressed from the waist down. That was the last day the friend seen Mache and her daughter. On March 22nd, four days after Mache and her daughter Layla were reported missing, two bodies were discovered by a man walking his dog down an embankment in thick brush of Southeast Wooding Road near Sunset View Road, east of Washougal. Authorities believe the two bodies found are of the 27-year-old mom and her 7-year-old daughter. The cause of death is still pending. Kirkland Warren is detained with a $1 million bail. If he posts bond this time, he will be required to wear a GPS monitor. This was such a horrible ending to this young mother and daughter's life. Ladies, look out for the red flags. If he hurts you, he doesn't love you. Hurt comes in several different forms, not just physical. If you or someone you know is in a domestic violence situation, please get help. Reach out to family and friends. If they can't help, there is a dedicated line for Clark County, Washington residents, which is 24 hours. Their number is 360-695-0501. Or as always, you can call the National Domestic Violence Hotline at 1-800-799-7233. The National Women's Coalition Against Violence and Exploitation has established a memorial fund for Mache Melendez and Layla Stewart. If you want to donate, I put the information on the screen and below in the description box. Rest in peace, Mache and Layla. We pray that your family will get the justice they deserve. As always, Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Be aware. Be safe out there. Bye for now.